So remember, every third Monday is now Moxie Monday. <laughs> what do we do on Moxie Monday? I don't know. Maybe I'll make it like a big joke stream next year. Maybe it'll just be a big joke stream. But yeah. So, Lateralis has been retired. We are now going to be rocking with Drew Powell. Drew Powell is actually a reference to this video I saw the other day. It was like my FBI agent listening to my Discord calls, and it was just so funny. I just thought it was so funny. Happy Moxie Monday. That's cool, Nick Rosie. It's all good. Face as we're facing off against Gavaz. Gavaz. Well, that took a minute to. Oh, my webcam. Where are you? Webcam. Face cam outline. Moxie boosted logo. <laughs> That's the name of the layers. Uh, so we're facing off against Standardization. Fun fact: Standardization now runs uh, Suicune, which is pretty pretty lit. Honestly, pretty lit. Pretty lit. Uh, we can go Lele Feeble. I like Lele Feeble. I also like Lando. That feels pretty good. That feels pretty solid. Let's do it. Now, despite me being the creator of this team, I hardly have any practice with it in-game. I've only used it on Showdown, and then I made it in-game, and I haven't really used it much. So hopefully this isn't going to be a completely trash session like, like previous weeks have ended up being. Also, it feels like my microphone's a little too loud. I'm going to turn myself down to make sure I don't peek. That seems to be good. I'll turn it down a little bit more. That seems to be good. I shouldn't be peeking anymore. Let me turn down my capture card a little bit. How is the audio quality? Is it balanced? I don't know. Shoe Hero, how you doing? Remember, it's Moxie Boosted, not Moxie Boosted. <laughs> love the new series? Can't wait for more of it? Hey, if you love the new series and you want my Thievel team to win, go leave a like on it because... So far, Bryce is winning. So far, Bryce is winning, and I really want to share this Thievel team. <laughs> I mean, I guess the, uh, I guess the, um, the advantage to my team not being as popular is I actually, at the very least, get, like, all right, hold on, this Landers is mine. So saith the Moxie, the Landers shall be mine. Um, should I fake tears? I should snarl. So the advantage is that I get to keep some team secret once in a while, which is pretty awesome. Hey, we got a hype train going. We got a hype train going. Is the Zacian... Dude, Zacian's not going to like this. Like, it, it, granted, it's going to eat it, but it's not going to like it. Let's get a minus one on this guy. <clears throat> and they Volt Switch on me. Big mistake, buddy. Big mistake. They're not going to like what's about to happen to their Zacian. They're going to have a bad time. Guaranteed awful time. They're going to dislike the video. They're going to be like, Marcos, Moxie boosted Perez. This team sucks. Guys, if we get one more sub in the next 10 seconds, a hype train happens. I'm not going to say do it, because it's your choice. But do it. How much foul play does? I actually don't remember. It's a good amount, though, because it's foul play on a Zacian. It's, 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 it's a solid amount. It's a solid amount. Uh, I mean, I'm always going to go ahead and go into the Lando here. Um, and then next turn, I'm actually going to do something really cool. I'm going to do something so cool. You guys don't even get it. You guys don't understand how cool this play is going to be. Let me foul play here. Put a helmet on the frog. Dude, Mercury, I'm never going to forgive you for putting a helmet on the frog. Listen, Politoed was hungry that whole video. He wanted a berry so bad, but you wouldn't let him. Listen, there's the Calyrex on the field, and then there's the Calyrex in your heart. And you were unnerving that Polytoad to the point where you put a berry on him instead of... You put a, a helmet on him instead of the berry. He was hungry. He was very hungry. There's the Calyrex on the field, and then there's the Calyrex in your heart. <laughs> so stupid. It was so stupid. I really hope they uh, just foul play... Not foul play. I hope they fake out the Thievel here, if anything. Actually, no. I, I really hope they double into the Lele. Yo, they didn't even fake out. How much is this doing? Not as much as it would have, because obviously I had to intimidate them to be safe, but still. Yo, the next one, though? The next one, though? He's not going to have a good time, dude. He's not. He's having a certified bad time. Guaranteed. No money back. Like, like on God. Like, for real. 
Like, gee whiz, dude. He's having a bad time. Have you seen Avatar The Last Airbender? Yeah, I haven't rewatched it since I was like 11, but I, I did watch the original run and I loved it. I absolutely loved it. All right. Hmm. Not sure how I deal with this. Really wish I could protect. I mean, I can just double and hope. Let's go! Classic Moxie boosted, getting the opponent to disconnect. Classic, an absolute classic. That wasn't me, right? It's never me. I don't know why I get so many people disconnecting against me so consistently. It's making me look kind of sus, not gonna lie. It makes me look kind of sus. Underwhelming. Um, Amoongus is 100% showing up to this match. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put that out there. I'm gonna lead off Amoongus Lele. Station in the back. And that, that seems pretty that seems pretty solid. So I think the funniest character in Avatar The Last Airbender. Um I was a big fan of what's his name? He was like the earthbending king. He was like a crazy old man. Aang knew him when he was little. Sorry if that's a spoiler. Aang was friends with this guy. He had a funny name. He was a crazy old earthbending guy. King Boomy, that's who it was. King Boomy, I, I honestly thought was pretty funny. Because he's just a child. He's just a giant child. Alright. Oh yeah, I mean... um. What was his name, too? What was Katara's brother? Uh, I, f I keep forgetting. I don't know why I can't remember anyone's name. Oh, yeah. No, this is over. Amogus. Amogus. Sokka. That was his name. I almost said, like, Sasuke, and I'm like, that is the wrong show. That is the wrong show. Uh, anyways, let me go ahead and snarl here, and I'm going to get in my Lele. They're probably going to fake out, which would be really funny. What does Thievel do? You're about to find out. You're about to learn. I am not re- Dude, I saw the live action one for my birthday when I turned like 13. That was so bad. I think I turned 13. It might have been like- I think it was my 13th birthday. The live action Avatar movie was just so bad. I'm about to take two. Two from this water spout. You're going to see. I'm about to take two. Alright, that works too. Can do nothing. Bet you Lele lives. Did they just ice beat? Dude, they really didn't want that Amoongus to do anything. They said, I hate Amoongus. They just said it. You might, not, you might have not heard. Ghost Prototype, thank you for the subscription. Also, let me turn on... Why is that? There it is. There you go. Now, now it'll show up. <laughs> Um, thank you so much for the subscription. That will show up on screen now when someone does it. I can Snarl again, um, but I could also just... I'm gonna Snarl again. I think Snarl plus Moonblast is pretty safe. Should KO. It's not like they can really do anything about it unless they switch in the Rillaboom. Okay, interesting. Is that the Rillaboom? Yes, yeah, the Rillaboom. Um, if they protect the Kyogre, I could see where this play is going, but if they didn't, I don't know. No, they didn't. They're just going to give me some decent damage. And also, that does not look like Assault Vest. I think this Rillaboom is going to take a lot more. A lot more than they're comfortable with. And Mercury, thanks for the sub. It is Moxie Monday, guys. Why are you not subscribing? It is Moxie Monday. Okay, that might be AV. I don't know. Oh, he's down bad. Did you hear Throw is coming to Unite? Dude, Throw needs something in this world. Throw is such an underwhelming Pokemon. He needs something. If he's coming to Unite, I'm, I'm going to start maining him. I'm going to start maining Throw if he comes to Unite. How's the audio, by the way, guys? Like, is the in-game audio loud enough? Can I turn it up? Am I loud enough? Let me know. All 
Okay, uh, I'm gonna go right out into Amogus. And I'm just gonna snarl. Thanks to follow, Ichi. Is rival it? You mean Sock? Is Sock coming to Unite? Sock, at the very least, is somewhat usable. Throw is the one who deserves it. They didn't fake out. What are they doing? Ah, you got me. You got me. Uh, viewers at home, you know what he just said. You got me to say sock. You know. You know. Never in my life have I seen a Kyogre player more down bad. I've never seen a more down bad Kyogre player. There's the man. Oh, yo. This could actually be kind of nasty. This, this could be a little nasty. All right. Uh, I mean, I'm probably going to get Hurricane. Hurricane. I'm probably going to get Hurricane. I'm just going to snarl. I definitely love that. Um, I'm going to I'm gonna grass not the Kyogre. Actually, I can Spore. Check it out. I'm going to Spore you. You're probably not Safety Goggles. I am not going to... I'm not going to say it. Dreaded Knight, you're not going to get me. <laughs> Alright, I should live the Hurricane at minus one. Shout out Amoongus, greatest Pokemon of all time. Eat that Citrus Berry, you earned it. Shout out Amoongus, keeping it real since 1921. Okay. Um, ladies and gentlemen, am I the only one who's sick and tired of this Kyogre sitting on the field? Am I the only one sick and tired of this Kyogre sitting on my field, eating my pancakes in my home? I shouldn't do that, I should. I should just snarl and clear smog, actually. Actually, what is the Kyogre at? I think the Kyogre's at like plus two special defense. Only at minus one, I'm fine undoing it once. No, nah, I'm just gonna Grass Knot. I'm gonna Grass Knot, it's fine. Because what is he gonna do? Ice Beam? <laughs> Ice Beam. Ew. Not like I dropped to it. Not at minus one. As they withdraw. Coward. I almost clear smog. It just didn't seem worth it. Alright, this guy's in foul play range, so I'm just gonna get in the, the Lele and foul play. And they're guaranteed to be asleep for another turn, so. Get in the Lele, click foul play. Get in the Lele, click foul play. A decent amount. Oh no, the rain stopped. What are you gonna do about it? I always feel awkward when my bed isn't made. Because I'll just get home from class and start streaming. I mean, granted, today I made a chicken sandwich before I started streaming, but the point remains. My my bed is nasty. Look at him. There's a dog barking in the next apartment. Please, sir. Please click foul play. I very much appreciate it. Alright, I, I don't care what comes in, it's not taking this very well. Even if it's Kyogre. Even if it's Kyogre, it's not taking it well. And I'm never switching out this Thievil. I'm just going to put that out there. Thievil's here to stay. See, that was, that was respectable damage. That's respectable damage. Anyways, I'm going to start clicking Snarl and Psychic. 
All right, enjoy regular show, Mercury. Have a nice night. Let me snarl here. Um, actually, they're going to protect. I've, you know, I'm going to snarl. I'm going to get rid of this thing next to it. It seems optimal. Seems pretty optimal. They should protect here. Because they do not. That's fine. I don't care. I just got to get Kyogre next to this thing and it's it's just done. Can you stay asleep? That'd be awesome. Hey! Thank you. Thank you. I'll be here all week. Good damage. Good damage. I go for the Origin Pulse. Nah, Thievul doesn't care. Lele doesn't care. You can disconnect now. You can disconnect now. That's fine. You can go ahead and disconnect, yeah. Uh, let me snarl. I'm gonna once again Moonblast. Oh, I missed something. Hopefully it wasn't the Kyogre. It was the Kyogre. I should be fine, though. Thievul, like, takes nothing from this. And I also continue to outspeed the Kyogre, because there's no way they're timid max. Not with a leftover set. Lele does not care. Look how much I'm gonna take on my Thievul. They have to crit to KO me. Look at that. Evil does not care. It is a minor inconvenience to get hit by that move. Yeah, I figured it'd be Rillaboom. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and eliminate the Rillaboom here. I should always be able to go for Foul Play plus Moonblast, and one of those two will get rid of it. I'm just going to get rid of everything next to this thing, and then it's game. Interesting choice. Uh, I'm not sure I agree with it, like in any situation, though. Point and laugh. Um, I honestly thought I was going to lose the evil there, but it straight up did not even KO. Yo, he's about to have a bad time. He's about to have a bad time. He is simply built different. Actually, no. Thievul's built similarly. Only better. That's the difference. Thievul's built similarly. Only better. Honestly, I love playing Rain with this team because, like, you just get to bully Rain. Evil is quite literally a bully for Rain teams. I'm still faster than your Kyogre. I'm just going to put that out there. And you can't paralyze me. You can't paralyze Thievul. Let me get an Amoongus for some epic bullying. I might be slower than Meowstic. There we go. There you go, bud. I'm gonna take like nearly nothing from that. Yeah, Amoongus, too, too good, too good. Uh, and rain has now stopped, so. I think their goal, their goal might have been just to KO Thievul. I've had people do that before, where they, where they like KO the problem Pokemon and then just, and then just like quit. Like they don't care at that point. Uh, I'm gonna get my Zacian here. I'm gonna make an epic read. Does this thing get fake tears? I wanna check. Let me check real quick. How much time do I have? I have 37 seconds. Yeah, I can check. Pokemon Showdown, let's see. Do you get fake tears? Yeah, I'll stick mail. It does get fake tears. Cool. Let me do this. Not dealing with that. You're gonna fake tears me. Oh, that's fine. I pretty much just accomplished the same thing. Think of the follow. 
Amy, appreciate you. <laughs> no, sir. No, sir. Not today. Not today. All right. Yeah, they're going to drop to close combat plus um, plus grass knot. So I'd probably just win. Hail one's gone. Close combat. Grass knot. That'll do the trick. Awesome. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, Thievel was just very oppressive that game. That is That was very fun. When you have such an oppressive Pokemon on your team, it just becomes such a fun game. I'm just facing Ash Ketchup. I'm just straight up facing Ash Ketchup here. All right. Uh, yeah, this is actually a pretty fun matchup. Um, I have to take full advantage of Landorus. Landorus is going to be my best friend in this matchup. Um, yeah, special Lando is going to go nuts. Let me do this. Go Lele, Thievil, Lando. Station. Actually, Amoongus isn't bad either, but... Yeah, it's kind of iffy versus the, um, kind of iffy versus, like, um, Entei, you know? And thank you for the follow, Miss Vixen and JT Matt. I'll take it. Yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it. I don't necessarily need Lele to win this match, and there is a slight chance they may sword stance, which would be pretty poggers. it would be pretty poggers, honestly. Like low key, pretty poggers. Um, I could also immediately get rid of this Grim Snarl. Which I wouldn't be opposed to, considering Thiebel probably eats a hit. I'm gonna try to immediately get rid of Grim Snarl. Because it seems to be very annoying here. They may protect, they may Swords Dance. I'm kind of banking on them going for like a Spirit Break into Thievel. And if they Swords Dance, I'd be very happy. Ah, there's the Withdraw. Dang it. Alright, they still don't like this technically. Now I really hope they Swords Danced. This is going to be doing a chunk. And I'm I'm max HP on my Thievel, so I should take one P-Blades. Oh yeah, Finny hated that. And I get the Spitak drop? That's nasty, dude. Yo, they both survive. Incredible. Incredible. Alright, um... I'll be taking my Foul Play damage. Yeah, I'll take my foul play damage here. Or... I think Finny protects. Yeah, I'll just take my foul play damage. I think Finny has to protect here, so this, this combo is going to be really nice. Which does more? Foul play, fake tears? I think foul play plus a, plus a neutral Moonblast does the most. I actually don't know how much the combo does. Ah, the ground unprotected. Um, I mean, I might take the muddy water, but they're probably gonna moonblast. Okay, yeah, muddy water thievel should barely eat. Oh, they both eat. They both eat. I'm sorry, Groudon. I'm sorry. No, no, Groudon's not gonna like this at all. Uh, and I think they may even switch out the Groudon now. So I'm going to make a little bit of a risky play. I'm going to Moonblast now. And I'll just go for normal foul play. Let's go for the normal foul play. Any protects? That's fine. I got some damage off. And I also just have to knock it into range of like Earth Power plus Behemoth Blade. They Earthquake. Huh. I didn't expect to see Earthquake like at all this metagame.
So did they have that over like stomping tantrum or he crash? All right, it doesn't matter um, what order these come out. I'm gonna run a calc real quick. I need to know how much my behemoth blade does to this thing. Thacian versus Groudon. 57, yeah, okay. 57 to 67. I'm going to do something kind of risky and substitute, because I can sludge bomb this Finny for free. And if I get a sub off, it's going to be a really bad time for him. And if he's not White Herb, he shouldn't be comfortable going for P-Blades for a KO. He's Oh, he is. Okay. Uh, that makes me want to not do that now. I mean, he's definitely in range. That's like, I'm. that's definitely 57%, right? I really want to substitute. Like, I really do. I'm just going to attack. I'm just going to attack. So far, the reads have not been working out too well. Yeah, if I get the sludge bomb off, I'll be happy. I could have substituted. Yeah, Bindi's gone. That's great. And Groudon doesn't take a double up. Because he has to choose between physical or special defense with the Grim Snarl switching. Not a high chance they have fake out. So I'm just gonna double up with um with Earth Power Behemoth Blade. Actually, I'm just gonna protect here in Earth Power. That should make it pretty safe. And I still have Misty Train up, so they can't paralyze me. They do have it. Nice. Okay, glad I protected. Yeah, that's always going to be in range now. They go for the P-Blades. Not going to connect. And at this point in the game, they should probably switch out the Groudon or something. I'm going to go ahead and try to substitute. Is that my play? Really? I'm going to Earth Power Substitute. Because regardless, I'll get I'll get a hit off on the Groudon. Nah, I should just take the KO. What was faster? What was faster? I need to watch that back. Oh, I don't know which one was faster. Was I faster than the Groudon? I, I forgot. I'm scared to guess. Twitch, chat, answer me. Was I faster than the Groudon? I need to know in 19 seconds. With my, with my Lando. I need to know right now. Otherwise, I'm just going to double. Okay, I'm doubling. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's fine. You were? Okay. That's that's good information for the next turn. It makes this a lot easier. They reflect. That's fine. Still double up. Still double up. Actually, um, I'm not going to double up. Uh, this turn, I'm going to Earth Power and Protect. I was lurking, not watching. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention to the speed tier, and it bit me in the butt. Earth Power Protect, and the next turn we Earth Power Substitute, because Groudon doesn't do anything to Lando. Not to hyper-physical defensive Lando. I also need to PP Max this thing. I wonder if they even have fire moves. What if they're just triple ground Groudon? Oh my god, no. Alright, yeah, no, I think I win. I think I win. I'm going to substitute this turn and go for the uh, Earth Power. And there's not much they can do about it. Because they, they have to have Spirit Break as their last move if they're running Fake Out Earth Power. Or if they're running Fake Out... Um, their last move, Sucker Punch? Hello? Alright. Yeah, that, that, that didn't work out for them. That didn't, that didn't work out for them. I think that's game, because now they can't even, like, intimidate me with anything. Do they have an Intimidator? I completely forgot what they had in the back. 
Truth be told. I also should be full screen right now. Stupid. Yeah, he's not having a good time anymore. Uh, his Lando beats my Lando. I need as much chip as I can get, and then I just win. If I can get a poison, that'd be amazing. Hey, thanks for the follow. Alex, we go for the Sucker Punch. Amazing. Earth Power, amazing. Poison? Yes. <laughs> All right, yeah. Um, Sludge Bomb, watch this play. Watch this play. I'm going to sub again. <laughs> watch this play. Thank you for the follow. Oh, I should have behemoth. I don't know why I thought it was slower. Anyways, it doesn't matter. I should have behemoth blade there. I don't know why I thought it was slower for some reason. I just had a brain fart. But it doesn't matter. I'm just trying to chip him. Also, he's not sheer force. I'm just trying to get him in range. I should have always been with bladed. I'm so stupid, dude. I'm so stupid. I'm I'm big stupid. Oh, he's learning. He doesn't like it though. All right, now I'm going to hit him. Now I'm going to hit him every time. Poison? There we go. All right, yeah, I should win now, barring any kind of stray crits. Actually, check this out. Just to be safe, now I'm actually going to substitute. Just to be safe. Because he's going to get a reflect up. And this makes it so I guaranteed keep my, um, my Zacian. This just guarantees I keep the Zacian. Because who knows, he could actually crit me with like a sucker punch, and it'd be really bad, you know? Just trying to avoid that at all costs. Anyways, now I can sludge bomb the, the Grim Snarl, and that's pretty much game. Behemoth Blade. And I'm going to say we just win now. Yep. Incredible. Incredible, absolutely phenomenal. Can I get a can I get Galissa Pog in chat for that? For Lando just carrying that game on his back. Can I get a Galissa Pog?